I can't believe you can actually play PlayStation 2 games in this tiny device. I never saw that day coming. So finally I received the RGQ from Ambenic this morning. So what I'm going to do on this video is a typical LJP Tech style of a quick unboxing, first impression, initial setup and show you all of the game list that comes with this when you actually buy this one and in the end show you some examples of the game, how it looks like when you actually play it. So enough said, let's get on to the unboxing shall we? So here it goes. All right, so the moment of truth. I love that purplish red color. Okay, so that's how it looks like. So in the box, it comes with instruction manuals, also the screen wipes. Now I might actually try the screen protector this time because it's actually indented. So that fits perfectly well. Final bit, rather longish USB-C. So we got the L1, L2 and R1, R2 on the top with the headphone jack and this time we only have one micro SD card slot and the USB-C port here. So I presume there are internal memories that you'll be able to transfer data otherwise I'll be very disappointed. We got the fan and grill on the top as well. Nice sort of grip on this side. On the left hand side we've got nothing but toggle button which I love. The A, B, X, Y and also the uh, classic control home go back and then the uh, select and start and here we got volume up and down and the power button and this is not actually on the instruction manual but i presume is the speaker so moment of truth let's turn it on oh vibration there nice purple bluish sort of um, intro and it changes to blue but it actually looks white on the screen it's quite bright actually it's, it says english or Chinese, so I'll click on English. So it's actually saying reconfiguring system and so on. So I actually completed the reconfiguration, but what I do want to highlight is the actual LED rainbowish sort of effect. Uh, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? So this took me a while to understand what's actually going on with the RGQ, especially what I realized if you go to the settings is that on the storage there's hardly any games it has 1.5 gigabytes of game space but i looked into it i think they're just basic stuff you need at least 30 to 40 gigabytes i think in my standard um, and so on but anyhow as you can see this is clearly like an android phone kind of display isn't it with the software installed in that way i mean this is a typical standard isn't it so it's a very good news basically you can integrate with all your mobile phone apps or games with an ambernic sort of um, classical games mixture and so on obviously I'm not an expert on all, all those things but if you're really into these sort of things then it's fantastic news for you because you can mix it all together so just to quickly run through um, you could specifically if you're into particular sort of game type uh, these are all the Ambenic that they actually kindly downloaded all those apps for you uh, for example, Nintendo or like um, DOS, which is one of my favorite because I'm that sort of age. Or if you're confused with all those things, you can always go to the Retro Arch and then um, go to every single sort of individual games, like very old one. But I think Retro Arch takes a bit of a time to load all those things. But also at the same time, you could go to Play Store to download stuff as well. Um, but what actually stands out here is that you can listen to music, FM radio, calendar, clock, uh, calculator, photos, Google Photos as well. So it's like a, it's like a mobile phone for really a cheap price um, and so on. But if you want to go to YouTube, for example, you could click on to the Chrome and then uh, scroll through my channel here and watch YouTube video as well. So that's really fantastic news. So this emulator that has been installed by the Ambernic team is really easy and good performing emulator indeed. So let's say you're bored with trying out all these individual uh, emulator and you try the Play Store trying to use the Android software um, and tired of listening to music. All you need to do is press this button here. So you will instantly access it if you want to come out. 
you just need to press this button here. So the way how you actually link up the games, because this doesn't come with actual default internal games, but you have to use your micro SD card. Before we get into that, by the way, you have to format your micro SD card. And when you insert it, um, the RG cube will say, would you like to have the layout the way how uh, this device want it to be so you've got to make sure it does that and it will create a ROM uh, folder for you so let's say if you click on it here um, as you can see it's all linked up but I just want to show you so you click on this button here not the emulator settings but ROM setting you just need to add and then go to disk and then this is the format that the um, RG cube has created for you so I download all the games into the ROMs folder okay so you just need to click on that and select it um, and then you just need to press the start searching for games and if you go back there will be the list popping up here now what is quite annoying is that we haven't got those thumbnails that will be easily distinguishable but we got the list here anyway so to run through what we have here we've got the nintendo nes sega master system uh, pc engine capcom uh, sega genesis Nintendo GB, SNK Neo Geo, uh, Nintendo SFC, Capcom CPS2, Sony PlayStation, that's one game, Sega SS, Nintendo N64, Capcom CPS3, MAME, one of my favorite, Nintendo GBC, uh, Dreamcast, um, also the Neo Geo Pocket, Naomi, Wonder Swan, PlayStation 2, yes, I'm going to show this later on by the way, uh, the FBN, um, the vertical arcade series and also the Nintendo GBA uh, this is Thomas Wave Sony PSP very good Nintendo NDS uh, Nintendo Wii as well that's really good I'm not sure how they're going to do the motion detecting by the way probably external controller uh, Nintendo 3DS and Pico 8 so without further ado let's actually play the PlayStation two games so i downloaded the devil may cry final fantasy 10 and also romance of three kingdoms as well so first one we're going to try the devil may cry so i guess it takes a bit of a time but okay so something's happening here you can see so let's just press that game and start ah here it goes look at that it works okay so english yeah, Capcom. So it's all going well. New game. Devil May Cry. It's good, isn't it? So it works. Brilliant. Yeah, you know all the stories. So let's skip that. Look at that. So I deliberately stretched it a bit because I want to fill in the screen but you could always change that but the castle is above this cliff look at that come on let's go huh. so no lagging whatsoever it's really good isn't it there you go see I can't believe you can actually play PlayStation 2 games in this tiny device I never saw that day coming but one day maybe we'll be able to play PlayStation 5 game as well I think the guy himself is a very slow mover, isn't he? But the game itself is not slowed down. Okay, sorry about the dark uh, screen, but I think it's because pretty much is Oh, okay. Because the game itself is a bit dark, isn't it? So, see? No delays whatsoever. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> PlayStation 2 games on, on my palm. There's not going to be any problem whatsoever from what I can see. It's just the loading time initially, which was about 15 seconds, I think. All right, so let's play Final Fantasy X, shall we? There you go. So we got Final Fantasy X, the PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> can you believe it? Listen to my story. <laughs> Yeah, I remember this one. Look at that. <laughs> Without any lagging whatsoever. How cool is that? 
I'm not sure how many YouTubers have shown you this. I forgot how to play this game actually. Am I supposed to talk to every single one of these people? Oh, there you go. So you can see this screen is actually stretched and yeah, you can actually name your um, character as well. So you can actually rotate it this way. Not sure why you want to do that anyway, but it's possible. Because it's actually the same sort of size. It's a square shaped screen. Doesn't make any difference. Anyway, so that's pretty much the Final Fantasy X. Perfectly being played by the Ambonic RG Cube. Alright, so when I tried Tekken 5 on the RG uh, XXSP, it was kind of lagging. So let's try the Tekken 5 on this Cube device, shall we? Okay, so let's do Farah. So there's no lagging whatsoever. So I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Tekken 5. You can play the PSP version on the RG Cube without any problem. Well done. So this is the Ridge Racer uh, 4. Very smooth. Whew, sorry. <laughs> Wrong turn. So no delays whatsoever, very smooth. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so let's try the Game Boy. Just want to show you guys how it looks like. But you also have that uh, decorative sort of thing as well. It's good, isn't it? I like that decoration actually. <laughs> Very impressive. Oh. <laughs> That's very good. I like that. This is the Kung Fu game. All those display units. It's really cool. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, come on. Because I have just over 1,200 games, which is going to take ages to find a particular game, what Ambernic has done is, you know, the scrolling, you could do it like that. That's really good, isn't it? So you can see the alphabetical order going really quickly. So I'm trying to find the Stadia Hero. So it's S. Okay, so quickly gone down to S. Um, and then PQRS. Here we go. So let's try that. New game. And you can see all those controllers display here because it's not particularly like square display. Obviously, you can change that if you want, but. Okay. There you go. That's a really smooth display, by the way. Home run! I love this game. Almost a home run. <laughs> home run! <laughs> I'm so good at this. So I'm not sure how many of you out there are expecting Ambernic gaming console. Every single one of them should have like default thousands of games in it. But certainly with the RG Cube, I don't think you're going to get it because I think I bought the cheapest spec. Hence, it didn't come with the micro SD card external uh, memory and so on. So uh, I was just playing around going, hang on, this just function like a mobile phone but once I start looking into it seeing the default emulation and also converting all those games and trying to figure out how to play PlayStation 2 games I really really enjoyed it it's something in me that I always like to spend my time on trying to make things better with um, you know gadgets and 
softwares and so on and i actually spent about two days trying to figure out how this worked and um i think i'm almost there so i could play dos games and also all those other games that i actually converted from the ambernic rgxx uh, sp games and so on so yeah it's almost becoming my perfect sort of device the only thing i just like to point out is just the screen itself um i'm sure they have well thought of it. I do like the square shape, but if it can be slightly stretched um, wider, uh, then I think it's going to be much better because the perfect square seems to not really work on PlayStation 2 games. That's why especially I had to deliberately stretch it so that it almost fill up the screen, but it looks weird and so on. But I think that's the only bit I want to point out. But this is indeed a very good device if you invest your good time on it by personally converting all the games that you like to play. So I hope this video sort of showed how good this RG uh, Cube device is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.